Hi, I'm Colin Smith, the founder of Photoshop Cafe, and I want to welcome you to the new Photoshop Cafe version 5. So we've done a lot of work here to make Photoshop Cafe much better for you. Uh, we figured out there's two things that you really care about. One of them is the free tutorials, and the second one is our premium tutorials, which are the digital downloads and discs. So what we've done is we've made the site much less cluttered and much easier for you to sort and find the things that you're looking for quickly. So let's have a look at some of the new features. So here's the homepage of Photoshop Cafe, and you can see right now we'll get a new logo. And right here, we've split it mainly into two parts. We've got the free resources where we can do our tutorials. Notice the tutorials are now broken into categories, easy to find. The super guides are now more um, discoverable. And we've also put uh, different links here for the different super guides. So you can get to those quickly. Um, then we've got, you know, our reviews, contests, interviews, and our ever persistent tips are right here. So what else have we got here? Let's look under the store. Under the store, we've got a premium training, which are our digital downloads and discs. And you can see these are also broken into categories now to make it much easier for you to find what you're looking for. So if you want to look at all of them, you simply click on store or premium training. Just like here, you click on free tutorials or tutorials, and it will show you all of them. So let's start with the tutorials. I'm just going to click at the top here on the tutorials. And we can see that some things have changed. Now, one of the things that you might have noticed is these categories that you saw on the side here are also available from here. So you can select a category. If you want to view them all, just click there or there. That will show you all of them, which is what we're seeing right now. Or we can search by category. So let's have a look at the tutorials. Notice you can see them all here. We've got these nice big thumbnails. And there's another new feature I think you're going to love. When you roll over, now you can get to read the description before you commit to opening the tutorial. So you can see, is this what I'm looking for? So the big pictures and the um, titles will give you kind of an idea, and then you can read the description and say, yeah, this is what I want. Another thing, we've added video tutorials. In the past, all the tutorials we had were pretty much step-by-step -step tutorials. And we still have those, and we're still developing them. But what we've done is we've actually now have three categories of tutorials. We have video tutorials, so you can actually watch the videos. We have step-by-step -step tutorials, which are the you know step-by-steps that you're used to. And also, we now have articles. And you'll see the articles are shown by a different link. I don't see any articles on that page. Let me go to the next page, and maybe we'll see one here. And you can get an idea of what the... There's an article there, and you can see it has a little pen there that tells you it's an article. So you'll see the little icons in the corner, step-by-step, -step, video, or article. We can also filter. Here's our step-by-step, -step, here's our videos, and here's our articles. So if I click on video, for example, what it will do now is it will filter this down, and just the video tutorials will be showing. So if this is how you prefer to learn, you can learn by video. Or if you want to read your tutorials, click on this little icon here. And this will bring us back to our step-by-step -step tutorials, and only those will show. Once again, we can click on the articles if we want to see articles. Uh, we can also click once again up here, and this will load up all the tutorials and show all the content. Now, we can sort these by title, ascending or descending. Typically, I don't really do much with that, but we also have the option to click on search tutorials, and we can do a search right here and find the tutorials we're looking for. We could also go up to the search bar here, and we can search by category, tag, or just type in exactly what it is we're looking for, and we can quickly search. Let's have a look inside one of the tutorials and see the features that we have inside the tutorial. So let's click on this one. And as the tutorial loads up, we see uh, some things look very familiar. This little icon at the top here, the artwork is very similar. And we've got our little ingredients card, just like we've always had, because that's uh, been a little favorite and people have liked that. We have our difficulty rating. But here's something that is new. If you look under here, we can see some different ingredients. We've always had the ingredients written on our tutorials, but now they're interactive. So say, for example, you want to learn about layers. Click on the layers ingredient. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to filter all the tutorials that are going to teach you about layers. So we'll find now, let me just go back here. I'm just going to go back to where we were. So you'll find now if you want to narrow down on any particular tools or particular techniques, just click on them, the ingredients, and look at those tutorials. And you can really master a particular tool inside of Photoshop. 
We can also share them. So if you like these tutorials, make sure to share them here on your favorite social networks. You'll also notice that now we have the steps here are broken down nice and clean. And also we've got these nice big screen captures here so you can clearly see what's going on with the tutorials and you can clearly see the dialog boxes. So we've just made it a lot easier to follow and, um, and a lot more visually um, simple, really. And if you scroll down to the very bottom here, we a lot of these tutorials, we're doing a thing called extra credit. So I'm doing the tutorial and then at the end of the tutorial, I'm doing extra credit where I'm showing maybe an advanced tip or some different variations that you can do based on that tutorial to help you explore a little bit further. So you're not just uh, following along step by step and being stuck. Another thing you'll notice too, as we scroll down the uh, logo and the menu bar stay persistent all the time. So you can always go in here at any time. And of course, I navigate to a different part of the site. So say we want to go to a tutorial by category. We could go down here. Maybe let's have a look and see, hey, what do we have under the special effects category? So we're going to click on special effects and the special effects tutorials are now going to load up. We can click on those and we can look at them here. And at the bottom of every tutorial, we also have discussions. So you just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll notice that we can add comments and have discussions. So please feel free to add comments. Tell me what you think about the tutorial, uh, what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. And uh, that way we can improve based on what it is that you're looking for and want to learn. Uh, you'll also notice at the bottom we've got navigation. So when we're at the bottom, we can find different things. And of course, customer support. Customer support is always going to be at the bottom of every page and also very clear at the top of every page now, there's a customer support link. So if you want to get a hold of it, click on that and it will take you to our Zendesk support system. Now, the reason we're using this, it's not because we don't want to get your emails. It's because a lot of the time the emails don't get through. They get stuck in spam or they get missed and, uh, and we really don't want these to fall through the cracks because your uh, technical support questions your comments, um, your requests. These things are very, very important to us. So we want to make sure that you can get a hold of us. So just simply go into customer support, open up a ticket, and we keep a really sharp eye on it and we'll get back to you very quickly. And we can also track it and make sure uh, that we are following up correctly uh, when you want to get a hold of us. So hopefully nothing will fall through the cracks. The other thing you can do here is uh, you'll see the author's names at the top of the tutorials. Click on the author's name and what it will do is it will actually take you through to the author's page. And each author has their page. And you'll see here's my uh, page, a little bio here, some of my premium products, and all my tutorials and articles all listed here. So you can find everything in one place under author. Now, if you prefer to search by author, go under the store, go down to authors, and then under the author section, you're going to see here's all our different authors here. And you can go under them and click on their picture or their name. Uh, here's Tim Cooper, for example, and we can see here's his products and here's his articles. So you can see the articles there. And of course, if you want the more in-depth training, here's our uh, digital downloads and DVDs. So how do we get to those? Well, these are under the store section. So under the store section, you can see we've got the premium training once again, broken down to category. So if you just want to see all of them, simply click on premium training and you'll see here's all the training. You'll also notice we also have this bar at this side. So once again, we could go up here, we could go under the categories here and you'll see these in the menu on the mobile version of the site. And also you can see them here. So if you want to search by, um, say for example, we want to look at photography, we could click on photography and all our photography products are now going to come up on the page. And you can see we've now filtered based on what it is that you're interested on. Now, there's another thing that's new here. If you are interested in a product, we could click there or we can click on the eye icon and it'll take us directly into the product page. But if you already know what it is you're looking for and you just want to purchase it straight away, just click here on the little shopping cart button and you can choose a physical product or a digital download right there. So uh, if a physical product is available, it will show. And if a download is available, it will show. So you know what format these different tutorials are available in. And just simply click on those and that would add it directly to the cart. So if I click on here now for the digital product, what it's going to do is actually going to go into the store now and add it. And you'll also notice up at the top here, here's our icon now for the cart that shows how many products you have here. 
and from anywhere in the site you can click on this to go directly to your shopping cart. But let's look under a different category for example let's go under I don't know Photoshop let's look under the Photoshop category and so we're just going to uh, continue navigating notice our product is up here and here's the other thing you can do is if you want to look at the product simply click on it or the I and it will take you into the product page so under the product page you'll see the description up the top here the option to buy a physical disk or a download and you can also look under the thumbnails and see all the lessons that are on that disk as well as other titles from that author what else can we do here well if you go to the very top you'll see a little bit of our artwork which we're going to be updating as we go and try and have some fun with this we can click on the video tab under the video tab this is where you'll find trailers and samples from that title and one of the things we're going to keep adding to is we're going to make sure that we have a sample from every title that those are not all finished yet we're still working on that and we're also still working a little bit on the layout and design of this page so that this might change a little bit and just get a little bit more user friendly and uh, you know as we work to beautify uh, different things also we can click on the author if you want to see the author's bio and notice there's a hot link there and also there we can click on those and once again that'll take us into that author's page so you get to see more about that author who they are um, what videos they've done and also what tutorials they've done so you can read the tutorials watch them and see if you like that particular style and we'll have a uh, bundles will be here if you click on bundles and also our new releases and we'll, we'll be adding different sections to here as we go same with the free tutorials let's look at this again we've got our tutorials we've got our super guides so say for example let's look at our super guides these have always been here but uh, sometimes they're a little buried and difficult to discover so if you go down and we click say maybe CS6 this will take us to our CS6 um, training center here or our, we call it our launch site or our super guide and you'll see here here's all the different articles that we have written by different authors here and you can see all the different products and you can click on these and look at these in-depth coverage on the different products this will talk about new features there'll be some articles some tutorials some videos how to use the features what's new and if you really want to keep up with what's new we can go down under the super guides and let's click on cc and this will take us to our cc learning site and you'll notice that as soon as something new comes out uh, the october 14th release is the latest release of photoshop and you can see we've got articles here and we can click on these different parts here and what they do is they will show you uh, what's new in that version of Photoshop so you can see here we're talking about the new features showing you how to use them we've got written tutorials and we've also got videos on here that will help you get up to speed the minute these are released so when something new comes out or you just want to know what's the latest thing in Photoshop head over to free resources and go to the super guide we also have one for Lightroom, so you want to know what's new in Lightroom, check it out. So what else do we have? We have some reviews here. Uh, we're working on adding more reviews as we go. Contests, our annual contest that we have every year. And uh, these, these will be here, so you can look at the contest, you can look at the work. There's a lot of inspirational work. In fact, let's have a look here. And uh, we'll see what we've got under the contests. You can see I've got the latest two here and um, here's the latest one here when we did the mobile phone design and probably by the time you get here or very very soon this will be updated with all uh, 13 actually 14 of these uh, different uh, contests we've had and you can see here's all the designs you can look at and just get some really great inspiration I mean there's some great stuff in here and, uh, and you can see about the contests and also uh, you'll see our contests that are open that you can join for free and uh, and I think you can enjoy those too. So we've got interviews. So we have interviews with some amazing people. Uh, we have some uh, Jeremy Cox is an amazing comic book artist. We've got people here working from Pixar, Lucas Films. Some of these you can read. Uh, we've got some great photographers such as Matthew Jordan Smith, Dixie Dixon, or we've got Shane Herbert, director of photography for Terminator Salvation, uh, Act of Valor, and some other films. And so you can watch these interviews and get inspired, find out a little bit more about the people that are the movers and the shakers in the industry. Uh, one of the things, you know, we have gone back and I've gone through every single tutorial since Photoshop Cafe began. In fact, I've dug through all the content, updated it. So all the tutorials now that used to be outdated, you know, from Photoshop 6 or Photoshop 7, not CS, but literally Photoshop 6, are now all updated so they work in the latest versions of Photoshop. Now everything um, I've talked about with the tutorials is so you can 
follow them along in CS5 or earlier. You can follow along in CS6 or Photoshop CC. I've gone through the actual tutorials themselves because uh, you know some of these I wrote 14 years ago and that was the best I knew at the time. I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, Photoshop has grown a lot in that time. So now I've figured out better ways, more efficient ways of doing a lot of the techniques that will actually give you better results. So a lot of these tutorials that you think maybe you know, I've redone them. Check them out, learn the latest workflow, incorporate the new tools and get more efficient. I've also updated the artwork to make it more current. Um, to make it a little bit more inspiring and also to make the, clean, uh, the screen captures larger and cleaner. Um, just so everything is just modernized and updated. So I've been working very, very hard on Photoshop Cafe version 5. I'm really proud of it and I hope that you like it. So uh, dig around, add some comments, tell me what you think about it. And until then, I'll see you at the cafe. I'm Colin Smith.